Welcome back to our home and garden. If you're new here, hello new friend. My name is Sue and I love to grow food. Too much food, but that's okay because I also love to cook and preserve food and I love to give away what we grow to our friends and neighbors as well. This year we did something a little different that we'd like to share with you. If you've been here before, you may be familiar with our 128 square foot garden where we grow dozens of fruits and vegetables in our eight raised keyhole beds, supplemented by several fruit trees in our backyard. This is an improved Mary lemon. This is a Tahitian lime. This one here is an avocado. This is a Buddha's hand. I don't want to show you. It's a little tree, but you see the size of this fruit? It's ginormous. Speaking of huge, look at the size of the lemons. Coming off of this little tree. But this year we did something different. Rather than replace the sod with the typical suburban landscaping, I seized the opportunity to put into practice a gardening method I had long known of, but never before had attempted, called the Back to Eden Method. This video series documents the transformation of our front yard from a typical green sod lawn to a cheerfully evolving mix of perennial and annual edible and ornamental plants over the course of a year. Won't you join me? It started with a design and an idea and a list of things I thought that I might like to grow. We purchased the supplies we needed and began laying them out in the front yard. Fortunately, we were able to buy lumber before the prices of it skyrocketed. I sealed the lumber in several coats of paint to prolong the life of the planters. I then built and assembled them into a circle in the center of the yard and laid out the border to kind of mimic the same free form flow that we have in the backyard landscaping. We utilize drip irrigation as we have in the backyard to minimize our water usage and to ensure that each plant has an adequate supply of water. Each planter was covered in a thick layer of cardboard and received its own dedicated drip irrigation line. We then filled each bed with compost and soil. Oh boy, this is the beginning of a lot of hard work. My husband works at a couple of the local hospitals and was able to get permission to bring home cardboard on several occasions, which is wonderful because the weather's perfect and I have so much work to do. I find I'm more invested in my plants when I look forward to their fruits or their flowers. And I like to grow varieties that I can't find in stores. Or things that taste best ripe, right from the vine, like tomatoes and strawberries and melons and even tender greens that I can harvest as needed for salads or for juicing. I also like to grow a variety of cucumbers and peppers and, well, even potatoes and onions and a lot of herbs. I try to plant the veggies I know 
will be eaten in abundance or that can be preserved if not consumed fresh. After buying failed starts from Home Depot, I decided to order some strawberry sets from Etsy and it's my intention to use them to line the inside black border around the perimeter of the property. This particular potato patch is being planted a la Ruth Stout style and I'll talk about that more later. To be honest, I don't know what kind of fertility to expect in the front yard because it's mostly clay soil that has been growing grass and sprayed with weed and feed and, you know, the typical suburban California nonsense. The soil is dead. There are no worms, but I'm used to growing in this very high intensity manner because I have this home composted soil that I've been building and building and building for the last decade. And all of it's in these beds. And that fertility allows me to grow things in a way that I don't know if I'm going to get the same kind of yield from the front yard. Well, it, it's an experiment anyway. This is my garden in winter time.
Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to catch the next segment in our Back to Eden Garden series. I hope you've enjoyed the very beginning. We'll see you next time.